okay we are successfully able to create the roles and now we need to create the permissions right so let's work on the permissions so i'm going to go back to my project here i'm going to basically uh, go to my store role so i'm going to copy uh, I, need, I think i need to copy uh, all of the things because our both of the forms are identical and in the create form ah oh, i'm here okay i need to create another route for store permissions right so i'm doing this same i'm going to make this permission right so let's change all of the occurrence permission store permission and then let me make this uh, lowercase permission and then permission something like this okay good and we need to create another similar route for this permission so i'm going to add this in the permission section here make this permission okay and then this should be also the permission store permission good and uh, whenever we will submit our this create form right uh, which one open create form this create form so it will basically it's going to submit the request on the I'm going to make this post and it's going to submit the request on the permission dot store right similarly I'm going to pass the CSRF token and then this should be also the type should be submit okay now here if I go and click on this permissions and you can see this uh, permission form so here I'm going to say that to write to articles write article or you can write article okay something like this as it's mentioned here on the documentation basically i'm following this documentation so here if i'll submit that role so basically what i'm doing here in the storing role basically i'm getting this permission from this form and then here i'm calling this permission and i added this namespace at the top earlier when i'm adding the role and then passing the similar name to this one it's very much identical with the rule and here i'm going to say that permission saved successfully great just click on this save and it's saying that permission dot index not defined okay 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 it would be the permissions not the permission right it would be the permissions yeah sorry i did this with the typo mistake and this should be also the permissions so that's why I made this mistake permissions dot oops permissions dot store because it's permissions dot index um basically it's not reloading this out because uh, it's uh, okay so just open this out permissions here something like this permission and you can see this I'm able to open the permissions but it's contain the dummy data because we are not loading the permission at that time right so i'm going to now load all of the permissions so before this when i'm saving my permissions here i made this permission dot store so i'm going to change this out because i have changed this in my controller in my route too so uh, here basically wherever i'm loading my permissions here i'm opening my all of the permission so i'm going to basically get all of my permissions okay so here i'm going to say that permissions equal permission all right permission all and similarly passing this to the view compact permissions okay good permissions go back uh, not back go to this view here I'm going to say that uh, for each and then pasting this stuff here inside this okay good and making this uh, permission permissions contain a single permission and I'm going to display that single permission name here permission name yes okay and then permission date time so I'm going to say that permission created at and just similarly calling on diff for human to display the time in the human readable form 
okay good refresh and it's saying diff for human on null ah it's mean that our permission isn't created right now no it's created right article okay i'm calling this here wrong table name give it a refresh and you can see this was created two minutes ago i'm going to say that again edit articles click on that save and you can see this it's saved successfully and uh, as uh, here we are firing our success message permission saved successfully so as similarly we got this here in the index page uh, for the role right here so i'm going to copy the same thing and i'm going to paste this here at the top of this here something like this so if i go here and let's say show articles or delete articles save and you can see this permission saved successfully so in this way you can create your permissions okay create your permissions create your rules and so on so now next thing is there are two ways to implement the roles and permissions so if you don't have multiple roles right so you can assign the permissions directly to the users right you can assign permissions without assigning the role to a user you can assign those permission directly to the user and there is another way uh, is to assign those permission to a role and then assign those role to a user so i'm going to explain further in the next video